Hey everyone, this is Chef Steven. Welcome back to my kitchen. It is now that time of year where we are getting under 80 degrees. I don't know about you, that's when the beanies and the scarves come out and we make soup. Today, I'm gonna show you my easy version of a butternut squash bisque out of my cookbook, Get Your Grub On. Not a lot of ingredients. We're also gonna do a slight variation on it as well. So, with that being said, there's one half butternut squash. Normally I'd go with the whole thing, but I'm cutting it down just a little bit today. There's also two cups of chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. One shallot, three cloves of garlic, a tablespoon of dried thyme, and two bay leaves. Now today we're gonna to switch up just a little bit and add half a leek of raw chorizo. The reason for that is because I want those spices to complement the sweet, the savory uh, bisque. If you want to add bacon and have that smokiness complement your bisque, you're more than welcome to. You can add crab, shrimp, the list goes on and on. But for today's sake, we're going to keep it simple. Are you all ready to start? Because, well, I kind of am. First thing that you want to do is you want to roast off your butternut squash. Now, normally I'd show you how to do that, but I took the liberty of pre-roasting it. All you're going to do is cut it in half, wrap it up in foil with some salt, pepper and olive oil and bake it for about an hour at 375 degrees. You're also going to want to remove the seeds. Very simple. Now it's time to get cooking. First, make sure you preheat your soup pot. We're going to get our chorizo out of the casing and just cook that off. Go with your favorite brand chorizo. I am a fan of the chorizo de San Manuel, but if you have your own favorite one, by all means, go for it. We're gonna cook this off for about five to 10 minutes until it's fully cooked. All right, our chorizo is cooked. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of grease that came out of it. So we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil because I want that olive oil to take on that flavor of the chorizo. So that way we can cook off the rest of our vegetables. Next, we're just gonna strain it into a bowl. We're going to get just a little more olive oil and we're going to throw our shallots and garlic in. We're going to cook this all down until it's translucent and then we'll start adding everything to our pot. Now that it's been a few minutes, we're going to start adding everything else to our pot one step at a time. Our herbs, stir them around so they become fragrant and aromatic. Our butternut squash and we're going to add our liquids. We're gonna let this simmer for about 30 minutes to soften everything up, make sure that all the flavors are incorporated, and then we'll continue. Now that our bisque has had a chance to simmer for about 30 minutes, thicken up a little bit, we're gonna blend this all up. All you wanna do is make sure that you carefully put everything in the blender. Next, we're just gonna puree it. And then you're just going to carefully pour it right back in your pot. Look at how thick that is. We're going to season accordingly and go from there. We're ready to serve this up. All right, now we're ready to put this all together. Of course, normally you want to go with a regular bowl, but I want to show you what it looks like as we put it all together. All you want to do, obviously, pour your bisque into your bowl in this case, cup. Next, we're gonna get a little creme fraiche. Put that right over the top. It'll probably fall into your soup, and that's totally fine. What I like about the thick texture of the soup is that it'll hold up to that. We're gonna get our chorizo that we cooked off in the beginning. Put a little bit right around the center. And then, we're gonna get some toasted pumpkin seeds. You can do them salted, roasted. Totally up to you on how you wanna do it. But we're gonna go from there, and next, we're gonna try this. All right, after all of this hard work, it's time to try our butternut squash bisque with a little chorizo. Delicious, smooth, rich, the spice from the chorizo, the crunchiness of the pepitas, that creaminess from the crema mexicana. All together, round this out for an excellent soup for this coming fall, winter, cold weather. Overall, 
You were able to see just how easy this was to make. And of course, if you want to put your own twist on it, by all means, do so. Regardless, I hope you learned something today. Make sure you follow me on social media. Chef Steven Gonzalez on Facebook. Chef Stegons on Instagram and Twitter. Also, for this recipe, go to ChefStevenGonzalez.com to get a copy of my cookbook, Get Your Grub On, where there are over 100 recipes, 256 pages of great photography. Anyways, we'll catch you next time.